Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, Irene. How are you? Very well, thank you. And you? I'm doing okay, thank you. How are you, Julia? Fine, thank you, teacher. I couldn't make it yesterday, but now here I am. Good, very good. And that so sorry counts a lot. Time. No, it's all right. <laughs> all sorry. right, so welcome back. What's today's date? Today date, it's October 8th. Yes, it's October 8th. What's the and year? 2020. 2020, that is correct. Very good. It's good to have you back. So let's begin. Irene, were you here yesterday? No, teacher. I uh, I can uh, I didn't get. I sorry, couldn't no, come. I couldn't I come. I couldn't come, sorry, because uh, I go out go out uh, very late of my work. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, that's the same reason I, I didn't came because I found a lot of traffic uh, when I got uh, got out from my work uh -huh. and uh, I found an accident and it was terrible. I have a headache. I was mad. Um, sorry, believe me. A lot, a lot of traffic. Yeah. It, in, the, it, in the Citrams lane. Uh -huh. uh, uh, ahead of me was an accident and all the line of cars, uh, we were stopped. So really? it was horrible to make the 180 to turn back uh, for the Carretera de Oro. Right. And uh, yeah, it was terrible. I came here at 7.45 and uh, sorry, I was, yeah. I didn't have the, the, the right mood. Right, okay, That's good. That's the way I am. All right. Sorry. Good, no problem. But I, I did, but, uh, I did the, the platform yesterday. Okay, good, good. <laughs> yeah, nice. The platform. <laughs> At right. least. Good, good, mm -hmm. good. Nice. Oscar. Mm -hmm. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are you, Oscar? Well, I have a great day. Nice. I, I had, I had a great day. Uh, yes, you had a great day. Okay, good. Uh, Nice. All right. How so, are you? How are you? Teaching all the um, day? Or? No. Um, usually, I st now with the emergency, you know, the number of classes have reduced a lot. So, um, yeah, yeah, because um, let, 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 let me summarize. Before the emergency, I had three classes uh, that were face-to-face -face with, with Insafor, right? But we waited like four months to open again, just the first class. So there is a lot of less work. So right now I'm teaching from six to 10 p.m., six to 10. Six to 10, okay. Yeah, so basically I'm free all the day. The whole day. The whole day, the whole day. So that means that you previously had another class be uh, before this? Right. Uh, I'm teaching, uh, well, I finished the class that I'm teaching before now, before this one. Uh, I finish it tomorrow from 6 to 7.30. And then on Monday, I start from 6 to 8. So it's, it's, it's four hours, but those are the only four hours that I have uh, so far, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. okay. that's what I do. Okay, so welcome back. It's October 8th. So what plans do you have for the weekend? <laughs> do you have plans for the weekend? Um, Sunday will work. Okay. We're what working. about tomorrow and Saturday? Oh, Saturday, they stay at home. Stay at okay. Home. And tomorrow you will be home too. Yeah. All right. I'll do. I'll do. All right. What about you, Jose? I think it's almost the same. I will, well, tomorrow we will go to work. And on Saturday, on the weekend, I will stay at home. 
maybe just go out, but just so quick and then return to home. Okay, good, good. What about you, Irene? Do you have plans for the weekend? Yes, I do. I I going to to my parents. Your parents' house. Uh, uh -huh, my parents' house, and and then I visit. I will visit my friends and and the night. And uh, the I will go to church in the morning, and the afternoon, I, I will go to, I will go to, to rest. Okay, all right. What about you, Julia? Do you have plans for the weekend? Yes. Well, for the weekend, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, yeah. but for tomorrow, I have a barbecue. Oh. At night. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. I deserve it. Yes. I deserve it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Good. I deserve it. Good. So, so you're going to your office every day, Julia. You go to work every day. Not every day. I work uh, by sh by uh, shift. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, shift. Uh, for example, I work uh, yesterday yesterday from six to six, and this is my day uh, my day off. Tomorrow is a day off too. Oh, and okay. Saturday too. The and difference, uh, Sunday, you don't Oxford. you don't work at night. Uh, this day you don't have a night shift. That is sometimes, the difference. Okay. Sometimes, just from six p.m. to from six p.m. from six p.m. to ten p.m. and you work twenty four hours, right? We do. We 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 work yeah. for twenty four, and you do for for sixteen hours. I guess. Sometimes 16, in my case, sometimes, not all the time, 12, and sometimes 16, but it's not all the time. It depends on the box. Okay. It's a different service. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. The same job, but it's practically, it's, yes, it's the, it's the same job, but we made, uh, we, we made like different things. Okay. Oscar, different plans. Mm -hmm. you, you're in the tower, right? Huh? Okay. Are you in the tower too, Julia? Yeah, I'm in the tower. Okay. All right. Good. Erenia. Hello. How are you, Erenia? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. Good. Do you have plans for the weekend? No, I don't. No? Just no. stay home and rest? On Saturday, I have to work, and on Sunday, I'm going to rest. Okay, good, good. All right. So let's um let's begin with our first activity. Let me see where this is. I think it's this one here. Okay, can you see my screen? Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. So here, um, do you remember yesterday we were working in a vocabulary section on, on vocabulary? Additionally, in fact, likewise, and all those connectors? Do you remember that yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, what is the first one? Tom loves technology. Mm -hmm. What would be? For example, yes, he has the latest cell phone. Very good. What about the second one? Nevertheless, Uh huh. Good. How how can you explain the word hotspot? What is hotspot? Uh, Wi-Fi there. It's right. Like when you, you have, have access to connect to the Wi-Fi. Right. When you have access to connect to someone's Wi-Fi. Very good. Okay. Most of the time, there's no password needed. Right. Right. And uh, if someone tells you, I'll give you hotspot, it's because he or she will give you the password. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, do you remember the meaning of Wi-Fi? Oh, no. <clears throat> what is that? Wi Wireless. Uh huh. Wireless. Wireless. Fidelity. Fidelity. Wireless fidelity. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. That's the meaning of Wi-Fi wi is another word. It's an, it's an acronym, you know. It's a word that people use every day, but every letter represents something. So wireless fidelity. All right. What about number three? Most students do research online now. Blank, internet access in libraries is a necessity. Therefore. Therefore, very good. What about number four? Some websites aren't reliable. Blank, many people are being misinformed. As a result. As a result, yes. Do you guys remember the meaning of the word reliable? Confiable. Yes, very good. Something or someone that you can trust, very good. Uh, what about number five? The internet changes fast. Or there are more the huh? Likewise. Oh, oh no, yeah. For example. Okay. And what about the last one? Blogs cover everything. Blank, they're updated frequently. Mm -hmm. furthermore. Furthermore, furthermore. furthermore 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 very good very good so remember the vocabulary we were exploring yesterday is vocabulary that people use um, every day all the time all the time okay any questions or comments about this exercise no Okay, so yesterday we also were speaking about tag questions. Do you guys remember tag questions? Sure. Now, okay, can someone remind me what the function is of a tag question? When do you make a tag question? So you call for an answer or for an opinion. Okay, you look for an answer, you look for an opinion. Usually when you make a tag question, you are looking for an opinion that agrees with you. So imagine you go to Pops or La Neveria and you're eating your chocolate ice cream and then you tell your friend, chocolate is the best thing, isn't it? So when you say, isn't it, you expect the person to agree with you and say, oh yeah, chocolate is the best uh, flavor in the world. So you make tag questions, to confirm something or when you expect the other person to agree with you. If the original sentence is positive, what is the form of the tag question? Negative. negative. If the original sentence is negative, what is the form of the tag question? Positive. Positive, very good. Now remember, um, so positive, negative, negative, positive. Let me see, where is this? Give me a second. All right. Give me a second. Loading, loading. Okay, C can you see the document? Not yet, not yet. We're seeing vlogs cover everything. Okay, let me. Can you see it now? Mm, yeah. Now I can see yeah. it. Okay, yeah. so let me. Okay. Eight to nine, eight to nine, eight to nine, eight to nine p.m. Where are you guys? Eight to nine. Right here. Okay, so. These uh, sentences with tag questions are incorrect. So what is your mission? Your mission is to identify where the mistake is and make the correction. So okay. we got the first one, they live in San Francisco, aren't they? That is incorrect because you're supposed to say, don't they? Don't they. Number two, he didn't buy the chairs, doesn't they? Not even close. So he didn't buy the chairs, did he? So you need to identify where the mistake is and fix it. 
Good. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Diana. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Which you? number? I'm doing okay, thank you. I had a good day. How was your day? It was a really good day. Thank you for asking. Good. Did you go to work? Yes, yes. Yes, I did. It what was a really good day. Okay. Hmm? What time did you get back home? Uh, at 5 p.m., maybe 5.15. Oh, that's early. Yes, because I, I am working really near to my house. Good. Right now. What, what is near? Is it a like walking a, distance? Yes, it is. Oh, good. It's really nice. Nice. It's, it's like 100 meters away. Really? That's near. Yes, yes it's really good. nice. Good. So you don't have to worry about traffic jam or transportation. Yes, it's awesome. Good, good. All right. Julia. <laughs> Hello. All right, so do the exercises. Okay, teacher. I try to I try to yeah, I try to make this exercise in the platform in the part of the exam and I have I couldn't I couldn't make it. I didn't I didn't get the right answers. Mm -mm. No one of no one of them. Okay. Anything. So I will try. Maybe, maybe I I will learn something uh, in this exercise because I'm not sure about them. All right. Good. Very good. Hello. 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 Which number are you guys doing? Number eight. Oh my goodness, you guys are running. <laughs> A little bit. You're going very fast. That's good. <laughs> Class. Don they is did they didn't they? No. Uh, okay. didn't. They already started the class. Didn't aren't they? they? No, no, aren't didn't. they? No, because uh, you're not using that. Aren't it because it's because it's in the in the present. It's no, in past. Didn't. It's fast. Okay, yes. didn't they? Didn't they, uh-huh. Okay, didn't they? Didn't they? Uh-huh. Okay. You guys, you guys finish real quick. Uh-huh. Yes, we finished. Quite, quite quick. Quite okay. Quick. okay. All right. Let me visit just one more room. Okay. It's in present or in past? In past. So is the present. Which, which number are you doing? Number six. Number six. Thomas saw a movie in. Um... So which tense is that? Number six. Right. So Tom saw a movie. What is the tense? Past. 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 Right. Yeah. So what is the correct tag question? Um, did he? Uh, now remember, no. if if the if the original sentence is positive, passive. 
the tell question has to be negative and vice versa. If the original statement is negative, the tell question needs to be positive. Mm. Uh -huh. So positive, negative, negative, positive. Okay, this didn't he? Okay, Thomas saw a movie, didn't he? Exactly. Didn't he? Didn't he? Number seven, he couldn't answer the questions. Uh, he couldn't. Could he? Could he? Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Number eight, Mr. Smith was late. Um, was he? Was she? No. Is it? No. Isn't she? Uh-uh. Mr. No. Smith uh, was, was late. late. That's past tense. And past. Uh-huh. So remember, uh -huh. sometimes um, the, the, the mistake in the sentence is the personal pronoun. Sometimes it's the form of the verb. So what would be the mistake in that number? Wasn't. Wasn't. No, she. It's wasn't he. Exactly. Yes. That, that so Mr. Mr. Smith was late, wasn't he? So it's in, Mr. No, it's exactly. not Mr. Yeah, it, it's a man, not a woman. No, a woman. Right. No. Very good. Yeah. They had dinner. Didn't they? Yes. Okay. So we're going to double check maybe after, after this time together. <laughs> Yeah, but the teacher is here. We can. That's okay. Don't worry. Go ahead. I um, teacher, can, sorry. I'm sorry. Ask him. Do, 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 ask. You, do you have a question? Yes. No. Which one? With the ninth. The number, number nine. nine. They had dinner. Didn't they? Didn't they? Didn't they? Yeah. Didn't oh, okay. okay. Yeah. They had dinner, didn't they? Yes. Okay. Because we're we're like doubting. Yeah, that is in the simple past. So the the, the, the tag question has to be with the auxiliary in past. Ah, okay. Good. Um, I need to check the platform after the class because I'm almost sure that I did it well, uh -huh. but uh, the the platform uh, doesn't recognize me the the, the right the answer. So okay. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure now that that. I have it. Uh, I have it in the right form. All right. So if you can take a screenshot and send it to me, so I can double check. I will send it only only for you. Yeah. I don't. Want to All right. Them. All right. Good. One more minute. All right, all right, welcome back. Let's go over the answers. Uh, I need a volunteer to do number three. We are late. Aren't we? Aren't we? Aren't we? Very good. Now remember, um, when you say the word are, how many syllables do you hear? Only one. Only one. Mm -hmm. Because letter E is quiet. So when R becomes negative, you only pronounce one syllable too. So you say R, 
aren't. Are, aren't. So letter E is quiet. All right, number four, he can swim. Can he? Can he? Can he? Very good. She was a student. Anybody? Wasn't she? Wasn't she? Right. Thomas saw a movie. Didn't he? Didn't he? Right. He couldn't answer the question. Could he? Could he? Could he? Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith was late. Wasn't he? Wasn't he? Wasn't he? Okay, Wasn't good. He? They had dinner. Hadn't they? they? They had dinner. Didn't, didn't they? they? Didn't they? Didn't they? Didn't they? Now remember, in that case, had, it's an irregular verb. It's not an auxiliary. Now, mm. if, if, if it were in the past perfect, then had would be an auxiliary. So they had dinner, didn't they? Okay. Right? Okay. Right. Your sister bought a new house. Didn't she? Did Didn't she? she? You don't exercise. Do you? Do you? It's three o'clock. Isn't it? Isn't, Isn't it? it? She is your friend. Isn't, Isn't she? Good. Uh, he's from Canada. Isn't, Isn't he? he? Your father doesn't drink tea. Is he? Doesn't he? Does, do? Does, he? No. Does he? Does he? Does he? Because you say your father doesn't drink tea. Does he? Does he? Okay, and 16, they already started their class. Didn't they? Didn't they, very good, Didn't they? very good. So remember, when you're using have, has, or had, you know, they have double function. They can be the auxiliary that we use in the present or the past perfect, or they can also be irregular verbs. So be careful when you are uh, doing exercises with have, has, or had. All right? Any All right. questions or comments? No? All right, so let's go to the speaking section. Let's talk about something that, well, apparently we do when we sleep. What is something that we do when we sleep? Dream. We Nightmares. dream. Nightmares. Oh. <laughs> Nightmares. Okay. Nerd. Okay, so. Okay. Saliva. Saliva. Dream. <laughs> okay, so let me. Um, okay. Vilma, you're in. I cannot hear you. You're muted. I'm sorry, teacher. I'm very late. <laughs> Don't worry. I was. Yes, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Better late than never. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So let me share this here. And all right. Can you see the questions? Yep. Okay. Let me see this here. Ta -da -da. Let me see this. You can take a picture of it right now, or if you prefer, I will send it to the WhatsApp chat. So we'll be talking about dreams. So let me rearrange, recreate, recreate, and here we go. Ask an answer, ask an answer, ask an answer. So it's loading. Uh -huh
teacher. Hello. Sorry. Yes. Can you share your, your screen? Sure. Sure. Uh -huh. My pleasure. Give me a second. Uh -huh. Okay. So, share. Okay. Can you see the questions? Okay. Yes. Yes, I, now yes. I will oh. take a picture. Go ahead. Okay. How was your day, Vilma? Uh, it was really hard because I had to do something and many things. All mm -hmm. right. All right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, did you what catch... About you? Uh, I had a nice day too. Let's see, I went to San Salvador in the morning. Uh, early in the afternoon, I came back to Lourdes. Oh, was yeah. tired the day, your, your day was tired. Um, not really, but there was just one inconvenient that uh, uh, it was raining in San Salvador, so I got a little bit wet. Oh, okay, okay. But, wet? Yeah, wet, wet. Me mojé. Huh? I got wet. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, it, it was raining. It was, it was raining. raining. It was raining a little bit hard. Yes. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> okay, okay, teacher. All right, mm -hmm. good. are as the um shouting they dream i i i assure you because they recreate the uh, scenes even they are walking they are they they are dreaming all the stupid things they do in the, the whole day <laughs> could be it could cat, be <laughs> cat and dogs cat and dogs i don't know i don't know any other animal so you think that only cat and um, dog can dream, but the other one. No, I haven't seen cannot. any. I haven't seen any others. I haven't seen any uh, animals dreaming. Imagine a, a bird dreaming about. I don't know what. For me, it's <laughs> funny, and I don't think. Maybe, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think fish and or chicken dream. <laughs> Maybe because think. they have a different lifestyle. Intelligence, I think. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know how yes. to describe it, but that sensation into your chest very worried and it, I don't know mm -hmm. it's horrible yeah I, I, I can't yes, you think that you're gonna die and it's a really uh, a really big sadness and you don't know yeah kind of sadness or melancholy I don't know how to say it uh, but even if, I, if I'm maybe I don't I didn't win that I was dying or maybe it's about something that you love is dying Yes, yes, I, yes. Well, I was dreaming that I was fighting with my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, no, come on, that's, that's not a nightmare. <laughs> don't worry about it. I don't remember the, the, the correct uh, word, but for me, uh, I felt need more time when I have a dream. You feel that you don't rest enough. Enough. It's true. In the number five, do you think dreams can be explained scientifically? Scientifically. scientifically. Okay, thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember uh, of this many years ago. Yes, but in that in this moment, really no. <laughs> because because I. I don't remember. I don't remember when I wake up the next day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's uh, having a dream effect the way you will when you wake up. That's having. So in other words, is there a connection with your dream? when you wake up 
So if you were having a bad dream and you wake up, is there a connection between the dream and reality? Mm -hmm. I think it depends of, of the dream because uh, if, if, the, if the dream is about uh, the death or something bad, uh, something bad happened to a family, a friend, uh, I think it's, it's affect, affect your day. Or, or in my experience, I, I, if these dreams affect my day. Um, but for example, when I dream about, I, 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 um, no sé, me asusta. I get scared. I get scared uh, the animals, all, 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 all the animals, I think. <laughs> um, the last week, I, I dreamed with a, a snake in my, in my, in my feet, and I woke up very scared, but this dream, that didn't affect my day. It, it depends of, of, of the thing that you, that you dream. Okay. Yeah. Now imagine that you have a good dream. Would that influence your day? Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's the same. It will motivate you. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Yes. In my case, it depends on the dream I feel. Yeah, when I feel. <laughs> you depend. Oh, okay. I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't understand the question. Okay. Clear. I, I will repeat. Does having a dream affect the way you feel when you wake up? <laughs> so, in other words, is there a connection uh -huh. between the dream and reality? Ah. Uh, so, yeah, in yeah, I understand. Uh -huh. So imagine uh -huh. you have a bad dream and you wake up. Is there a connection between the dream and your reality? Or if it's a good dream, you wake up and you feel happy. So is there a connection? Ah, uh, yes, yes, I understand. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I have, I have, have a dream that connects with the reality. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, next one, next, next. This one is uh, that I have are related to fall down, but it's, it's uh, only when I'm very tired because most of the time I don't have dreams, but when I have had a bad day, that... it's like I'm tired or I'm stressed or something like that. And I have uh, different kind of dreams, but most of them, I'm falling down and I wake up like okay. trembling so or something like that. Mm -hmm. dreams, dreams about falling. Yes, most of them. Okay, solution is uh, lie on the bed and put a, a feet on the, on the ground. I mean, <laughs> uh -huh. okay, uh, okay, lie on the bed and then pull a, a leg aside, uh, outside the bed and put the the feet on the floor but the, the, put one, the... one foot put, put one foot on the floor and you will never fall again uh -huh. <laughs> so it's, kind of, it's kind of weird yeah but it's not going to be possible because i i sit uh -huh. in the next to the wall so i cannot put it in the in the moment that it happens oh i see uh -huh. wow okay mm -hmm. no no i don't know I'm like misinformed, like not misinformed, but I don't have enough information to make it, to give my opinion. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. My point of view is that maybe, maybe the dreams can be explained by science. Yeah, could be. Yes. Could in be, maybe they, they have an explanation. In a way, but my therapist said, <laughs> that the soul maybe has something to do with dreams. Mm, I don't know. The soul, yeah, yeah maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. Okay. 
uh, do, would you like to stop having dreams or having more dreams? If they are, they are going to be uh, good dreams, like, yeah, good dreams, like, I don't know, maybe me earning money or me winning the lottery or I, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, want, I would like to have dreams like that. But if I'm, I'm, if I'm going to dream that, some, uh, that someone who, who I love is dying or uh, I'm losing something, something important for me, I, I don't want to dream anymore. Yes, it's interesting because care or lovely uh, in in that uh, that kind of uh, feeling uh, had an impact in in the subconscious. <clears throat> and for you, well, in my case, I had dreamed something that I want to remember. But when I sleep again, I can't remember <laughs> that, that I was dreaming. Yeah, my, my sister said one time, I just I, I had a good dreams and I wake up and I try to sleep again to continue uh, with my dream, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and has that happened to you that you're having a bad dream? You wake up for whatever reason. You go yes. back to sleep and you continue with the same dream. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? No. Yes, in my case, yes. And the, you started in the same step that you left. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. It happened to me a couple of times, you know, like, okay, I'm having a bad dream. I wake up, whatever. I go back to sleep and I continue with the same bad dream. You know, it's, it's kind of strange. <laughs> You want to yeah. sleep again. <laughs> right. And, and you know, like, and, and it happened to me twice or, or three times. And then you don't want to go back to sleep because, you know, you will continue with a bad dream. So it's, it's kind of strange. Yes. And I, I said to, to Jose, when you had a, a lot of dreams, when you wake up at the, at the next day, you feel uh, not have, not having enough time for the for the correct uh, rest right. during the night right right yeah so like you guys were saying you know like sometimes we dream sometimes we don't and when you don't dream you get the sensation that you rest more you know yes so your body is like more energetic you know it's more thankful because you know you gave them uh, you gave your body a good sleep Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. uh, during the, the night, but sometimes I feel very tired at the next day. And mm -hmm. maybe it's for that reason my brain don't rest, doesn't mm -hmm. rest. How many hours <laughs> do you usually sleep, Jennifer? In the time, seven hours. Seven hours. What about you, Wendy? How many hours do you usually sleep? It depends on my work. Sometimes six hours, sometimes seven, sometimes five. <laughs> okay. Do you ever sleep seven hours or more? Or eight hours, maybe? Mm. I'm seven Saturday. hours. You sleep seven and, hours? Yes. Uh, on Saturdays or, or or Sundays, I sleep more. Okay. So those two days are, are your days off, Jennifer? Yes, Saturdays and Sunday, day off. And the, ne the, the next, uh, I have a free, uh, free days the Monday. Okay. Oh, that's that's good. So you you have chance to to sleep well. Uh, maybe because uh, I wake up around to five o'clock every right. day. Okay. All right. Good. I drink and sleep. Do you drink? Uh huh. Um. <clears throat> No, 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 
No sé, no sé. I don't know, I don't know. Which, which number are you doing? What, what is the, what is the number? Uh -huh. Let me see, I, I go, go out to, to my, is the number nine, teacher? Oh, do you daydream? Si sueña despierta. Si sueña despierta. Daydream. Ah, no, no. No. I never, no, no. I never had a dream. You never like daydream? That. No. Okay. No. What about you, Irene? Do mm -hmm. you daydream? In my case, all time. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I daydream too, you know, all the things that I want to achieve in life, you know, all the, the, the different processes where I'm at right now, you know, like, so I daydream. Uh, oh. Yes, I guess uh, it's because I have many frustrated dreams. <laughs> frustrated, uh -huh. yeah, they, okay. I Yeah. Yeah, daydreaming is, is, is necessary you know, in a, in a person's life, you know, you start using your imagination about the things that you want. So I think it's okay today. Uh, you are talking about, <laughs> I understand the question. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Do you daydream, mm -hmm. Vilma? Yes. I, yes. <laughs> a lot of daydream. I have a lot of daydream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I think, catch up the question. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that mm -hmm. everybody, I mean, like, it's of something bigger, something better, so, you know. Yeah, yes. Okay, okay. and the next one is, why, why do you think some people remember they, their drink and others don't? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, all right. Let's see this here. Okay, so do you guys think animals dream? Do you think they dream? They do, they do. Mammals, at Me least no. mammals, at least mammals. Okay, mammals dream. How do you know that they dream? Because I've seen them. Yes. About, okay. about the things that we have done during the day. Okay. So I, I, I did check that we were doing something with a cat or with a dog and the night they were dreaming about it. Oh, okay. Good. I had the chance. Uh -huh. so they, I All right. <laughs> okay. Now, does having a dream affect the way you feel when you wake up? Is there a connection between your dream and how you feel when you wake up? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're dreaming something bad, you feel worried. If you were dreaming something good, you know, you feel motivated. Okay. Any questions or comments about uh, uh, dreams? Do you usually remember the dreams that you have the night before? Not really. Not, Not really. Just, uh, just I feel feeling very tired the next day. Right, <laughs> right. Ha has it ever happened to you that you're having a 
a dream, a good dream or a bad dream. You wake up for whatever reason, you go back to sleep and you continue with the same dream. When I was young, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Okay. What about anybody else? Do you, do you, has that ever happened to you that you continue with the same dream even if there's been interruptions? No. No? No, in my case, no. Okay. What about nightmares? Do you usually have nightmares? Not really. Okay. Yes, I do. Tell me not. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I do have. Right. You know, there is one, uh, uh, a dream that I have had in my life, like in four or five different times in my life. And I dream that I die while I'm in an elevator, you know? So when I catch an elevator in whatever building, whatever, I always think about the dream that I have, that I have had in my life, that, that I die in an elevator, so. And you feel... I, 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 I remember the dreams, you know, like I know that the elevator is working properly and everything, but I think about the dream and I say, what if this is the time that will happen, you know? So <laughs> hopefully not. Okay. All right. Okay. Any questions or comments about, uh, um, about dreams? No. No. Okay, let me Teacher, play. One yes. question. Yes, ask the, me. The word is scientifically. Scientifically? The, scientifically is the pronunciation. Yeah, scientifically. Scientifically. Okay. Scientifically, yes, yeah, scientifically. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, all right. Okay, so let me see. We got about three more minutes. Let me see. Share. Share computer sound. Share. So pay attention to the audio. I will put you in mute, mute, yes, and here we go. Listen to a news report on technology. What is the report about? Check the correct answer. Sports and weather are coming up, but first, here's Health Watch with our medical specialist, Dr. Linda Byrne. Dr. Byrne, there's no question that technological advances in the last decade or two have made our lives easier, but all this technology has its downsides as well, doesn't it? That's right, Peter, especially for those suffering from syndromes caused by the stress of our high-tech lifestyles. And this is a relatively recent development, isn't it? Definitely. Such syndromes were nearly unheard of in 1980, before the growth of the Internet and the high-tech industry. Since 1990, however, nearly 300 cases of technology-related stress syndrome were identified. There was a slight drop-off after 1990, but soon the number of cases jumped to three times 1990's rate. All right. You can unmute yourselves now. So what did you understand from, from that audio? They were talking about different uh, health issues that we can have related to the use of technology. Right, right. So the, the audio was only one minute and the lady was reflecting on the health issues we can have derived from technology. How much technology do you guys use every day? Any? A lot. A lot. In this quarantine, we have more, more internet hours. Right. Internet. Right. True. Okay. Okay. Um, any questions or comments about today's lesson? No. no? So don't forget that you guys need to finish uh, the platform. Um, we finished. We have only four more classes and we are finished and um, if you have any questions or comments send me a, a message an email what's up whatever and have a nice weekend 
Thank you, teacher. Same to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice week. Okay. Uh, we Have a nice one, everyone. Take care. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye.